In this quick video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can connect your ClickFunnels account to your school community. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. All right, so like I said, connecting your school community to ClickFunnels is actually really simple. Now, you might be wondering why would somebody actually want to do this? And I think I've identified about four reasons. Reason number one is you want to join the ClickFunnels 2 Comma Club, right? So with the ClickFunnels 2 Comma Club, and I'm on the uh, award website, you actually will earn one of those little plaques or trophies, uh, something that you can hang on your wall for social proof if you produce a sales funnel of over a million dollars, 10 million or $25 million. So if you're looking for that social proof, if you want to have that, you're going to need to connect your ClickFunnels to your your school community. The second reason you may want to connect ClickFunnels to school is to create a better sales page. Now, unfortunately, right now, school only has a limit of 1,000 characters for their about page. And if you want to create something a little bit more engaging, something that may increase conversion rates, that's when you're going to want to use something like ClickFunnels or another alternative. So if you are just running an offer, maybe like a Facebook ad directly to your school community, and you want something a little bit better that you can uh, increase your conversions and, and really connect with the different types of buyers, that's going to be something that you're going to want to do off of the platform. So like using ClickFunnels is a, a no brainer makes sense opportunity. The third reason why you may want to use ClickFunnels with school is if you are offering additional products and services. Think about it like this. What if you are an e-commerce platform and you're selling t-shirts, but you also want to get them into a community where you can get ideas, you can sell more products down the line and you need a simple way to do it and you want to use school. And so it actually makes sense that if you are selling additional products and services, maybe you've got some bonuses that are available somewhere else. I don't know what it would be, but it actually makes sense that you would want to connect the two and so that they would play nicely. Now, the biggest benefit of connecting ClickFunnels to school is that with the method we're going to use is whenever someone goes through this process, they're automatically accepted. One of the drawbacks or concerns with school and even with a free community, people have to be manually accepted unless you've got some other automation set up, but that's outside the, the purpose of this video. With this connection that we're about to set up, it automatically accepts new members into the group. So if you've got a paid community and you're doing this on ClickFunnels, once they enter in their credit card, it automatically accepts them. Another thing that you might want to consider is if someone wants to use PayPal. I didn't see PayPal as an option for school at this point, uh, and that might be something that you might want to consider. The fourth, as I mentioned, is to actually automate the enrollment process. Uh, unless someone is buying on the school platform with the About page, uh, they have to be manually added. So uh, creating a, a process that we're going to talk about in just a moment makes it very simple and it makes it more hands off. If you don't have this process and someone wants to join your free community, someone, maybe you or, or a virtual assistant, has to verify the account, make sure that they're not going to just scam or spam, and then approve them. But with this process that I mentioned, it makes it almost, almost a no-brainer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you step-by-step -step how you can connect your uh, school community to ClickFunnels. Now, you're going to need three things. You're going to need, obviously, a ClickFunnels account. You're going to need a school community that's already set up. And you're going to need something called Zapier or Zapier. I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video, you have those three things. If you don't have a Zapier account already, go over to Zapier.com. And I'm, I'm not an affiliate for Zapier. Go to Zapier.com and create a free account. With a free account, you can actually create a couple Zaps. But if you want to upgrade and have more than that, it's going to cost you a little bit. So like I said, I'm just going to assume that you have set those three things up and let's go ahead and take a look. So this is my Zapier account. I'm simply just going to click on create. I'm going to create zaps and then I'm going to press create right here like that on the right hand side. We're going to do a new zap. And then what would I like to automate? I'm going to type in click funnels like this. Now I'm using click funnels, old version, original version. Uh, this will work basically the same way with the, the new ClickFunnels 2.0. So I'm going to just do, I'm just going to do trigger like this, and I'm going to type in ClickFunnels like that, ClickFunnels Classic, and then I'm going to choose an event. So maybe a uh, new purchase is the best way to go. I'm going to click on continue, continue again, and then I can choose the funnel. So let's say I'm just going to choose the most recent funnel that pops up. 
and then I move on to the next step. So a house of affiliates current, and then I can do step, funnel step, and then I can go to the order page. So if someone does an order form like this and they submit it and it goes through, that's how the trigger works um, in, in the second action. So um, I can test the trigger. I'm not gonna do that right now, but the next step is to click on action. And then we're just going to type in school like this, grab the school community. We're gonna choose an event. We're gonna say either invite member or unlock course for member. I'm just gonna do invite member, click continue. And then it's gonna ask me to sign in. I'm just gonna sign in real quick. And then this is where we actually grab our API key. Now, in order to do that, we've gotta go over to our school community and then inside of the school community, go to settings like this and then go down to where it says plugins and we're gonna click on Zapier integration, click edit and then click copy. Okay, once we have that copied, we're gonna go back over to that Zapier window that opened up. We're gonna paste it in, I'm gonna block it off. And then the final step is to come back over to our community and we are going to copy everything after the forward slash. We're gonna copy this. We're going to go back over to thing here and we're going to paste it in and then click on yes, continue to school. And just like that, we've got it connected. You can verify it and test it if you want, but this is how you would connect it and move on to the next thing. So as you can see, it's real simple, real easy. They've made it so that it can integrate or connect with a number of different platforms. And so let me know what you think. If you want other videos like this, and also if you want to learn different ways to make money online, definitely check out my school community. There will be a link in the description. You can get started for free. I've got a ton of free uh, workbooks to help you make money. They're especially newbie friendly. Now that you know how to connect your ClickFunnels account to your school community, watch this video next if you wanna learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing.